every one of us needs sometimes that little bit of humanity to keep us going. We have these flowers, we have these sculptures, we want to do some kind of awareness. I have my dog, which I have to walk every day. Dog tend to kind of expose you to more people. So that's kind of how the communication started. I want to say also is, okay, sometimes people ask me, why do you help these homeless people? My joke with them is that I say, okay, let's put a homeless person going to the hospital as an example. If they have problem, they come talk to me, I pick up the phone, set an appointment with them, for them, or, or I drive them to the hospital, it's $250. If they call the ambulance, stumble into there, it's $2,500. Okay, right there, it helped every one of us. We, we save so, so much energy, not just dollar and cents. After we learned it here for the last two and a half years, we decide to kind of duplicate what we do in a bigger scale. And so we're starting a food program, you know, later. We're trying to work with their churches there and group it together. Um, uh, uh, I make some contact with the different churches and the people that are involved with the church. Uh, so we're starting a new food program on Thursday night that we're going to serve the people there. We're anticipating between 100 to 200 people each meal, but instead of having them wait in line to get food, we're going to try to have um, people serve them, so it could provide an opportunity to know them, to provide the dignity that they need. The economy, the way it is, is an issue that we, we cannot not address. Um, so some of us show the compassion that we genuinely care, then they don't feel as frustrated. They feel like there is still a hole, and they don't go to the deep end. And and every one of us needs that, sometimes that little bit of humanity to keep us going. And for homeless people, they don't get that. Um, so I have a lot of different crazy ideas and goals that I'm trying. We're to get trying there. to create a program that um, that we can help the inner city kids to do spend more time to exercise. Not necessarily footballs or stuff like that, because we want them to be more academically um, involved. So we are trying to think of maybe doing exercise as disciplined, because if you learn the discipline, then you'll be disciplined in everything else. So th that's something that we're working to as, as well. So we can have the whole community work together. Achieving the goal as a community involvement instead of just a few of us that think that we shouldn't help, and I think that's really, really important. Every one of us needs sometimes that little bit of humanity to keep us going. I'm talking too much now. <laughs>